Hi, welcome back to Bookopolis. I'm going to show you today how to use our online reading log. So when you're logged into Bookopolis, you'll see a button up here that says reading log. And this is where we're going to track all of our minutes and pages read. So to start, I'm going to make sure I have books on my reading it now page. So I'm going to use the search. It can be this search bar, this search bar up here, or quick actions add to my books. So I'm going to put in a book. I'm reading The One and Only Ivan, which I really love. And so I'm going to add it to my books. And remember, we have three shelves, books I've read, books I'm reading now, and books I want to read. So to put it on a reading log, it has to be on our Reading It Now shelf. So I add it here, and now I'm going to hit Save and go to Update Reading Log. So now I can hit Add an Entry and then select a book. Now notice on these fields, some have an asterisk next to them. That means you have to fill that field out to be able to save your reading log entry. If it doesn't have an asterisk, it's just optional. So for select a book, I can now see I have one and only Ivan on my shelf. So I'm going to put that in and I'm going to add a genre that this is a realistic fiction book. And I'm going to add my reading date. So I actually read this book um, a little bit today. So I'm going to add that I read for 20 minutes and I read about 20 pages. I'm just estimating here. And I have the option to write a comment. So I'm going to write that I am loving this book so far and hit save. And now you can see my entry popped up. And if I ever want to go back and edit it, maybe I put the genre wrong or maybe I want to add to my comment, I can just click edit. Now I'm going to add another entry straight from here because I have another book that I am reading also that's already on my Reading It Now shelf and it pops up. You see Keeper of the Lost Cities. So I'm going to go back and I actually read that last week, last on Saturday, a couple days ago. So I'm going to add here and I'm going to add that I read for 30 minutes and about 20 pages. This one's a little bit harder book. And I'm going to hit save. Now if I want to see how many minutes I've read so far this month, I can put in a date range here, click show me, and check it out. I have already read 155 minutes this week and 135 pages, so that's kind of fun. I also see that information here on my progress bar on the left side page. Now one more thing I want to show you on reading logs is maybe you're reading a magazine or the newspaper online or in print, or maybe you have another book that isn't coming up on Bookopolis for some reason. Maybe it's a grown-up book like War and Peace. So I'm going to write War and Peace here. And again, I'm going to save. I was reading this last week and I read for about 35 minutes and about 15 pages, a little slower on this one. And that's going to show up too. So again, I can rerun my minutes and see, now I'm really tracking what I'm reading. So that's how you can get to your reading log and see that. Remember to go to my books and you can see your bookshelves, reading it now, what you've read and what you wanna read. And when you finish a book, like I'm almost done with One and Only Ivan. So as soon as I finish it, I am gonna switch it over to my I Read It shelf and then I can give it a star rating and write a book review for it. So remember, if you have any questions or our feedback, ideas for making Bookopolis better, click our feedback button and send us feedback, questions, or suggestions anytime. And happy reading.